is our deep water culture aquaponic system. The new air blower that we put in here is giving quite a nice results. Let us seem healthy. Some frilly lettuce, some of the red lettuce, some romaine. Here we have some celery. On this deep water culture we've got some celery. New cherry tomatoes ready to be transplanted onto the sandponics bed once the lettuce comes out. We had extra tomato plants, so we planted them on soil. So the growth here will be a lot slower than on the uh, aquaponics system. Yeah, well we have our flood and drain beds on the aquaponics side, mainly tomatoes, so this should fill up nicely in summer. Some more tomatoes. This mint plant here is about six years old already. This is a experimental drip irrigation system on cocoa peat. Got the drip lines, also does very well. Very similar results to sandponics. We are running this as hydroponically though. There's the water reservoir. The outlet to the beds, the valve, a filter. then going through to the individual lines. We just water about seven to ten minutes per day. These are fish tanks. Currently we keep the pool blankets on to keep the heat. It's early September, which is basically our spring in South Africa, but it's still pretty cold. Uh, temperatures dipping down to below 10 Celsius at night. So we need to keep the water temperature close to 20 Celsius. And this helps a bit.
This is our main sump for the aquaponic system. And what we are doing now, we're preparing the second sump to handle the new sandponic system. So we're going to have the sandponic system and the aquaponic system running off these two sumps here. You'll see there, there's a pipe there that joins the two sumps together so that the water level in both will stay even when the aquaponic system and the sandponic system dumps their water back. We had this marble lighted. So we're going to install our new sandponic system just in front of the sump there. Uh, it will be about, I guess, 4 meters by 6 meters, flat on the ground. And then it will drain into the sump here, which will be joined to this one. We will have one pump, submersible pump here, pumping up to the sandponic system.